Up next on end of the day beer review, we are looking at Vizzy. This is a hard seltzer and this one is raspberry tangerine. Check it out. Hi everybody, it's Rich and welcome back to end of the day beer review. And today we're gonna to be looking at something a little bit different. Um, this is a hard seltzer by Vizzy. I actually don't know who makes it. My wife bought a 12 pack of these and not all of them went. So I decided to check it out and do a little review because somebody was asking me to do a few more seltzers. So this one is coming in at 5% ABV and it says Vizzy hard seltzer, raspberry tangerine. I like raspberry, I like tangerine, so I should like this. Natural flavored with other natural flavors. I'm sorry, naturally flavored with other natural flavors. And it says vibrant dual flavors. Um, now this is sort of unlike a beer can because it comes with nutritional information and it says it contains less than 1% juice and it is a hundred calories for a can. And the ingredients on this one are sparkling water, alcohol, natural flavors, tangerine juice from concentrate, um, citric acid, sodium citrate, dried acerol cherry juice, and stevia. So it's got sort of that fake, um, spear, uh, that fake sugar in it. And it says it does not contain distilled spirits. Now, you know, most of what I drink uh, tends to be sort of limited to the heavier ABV stuff. So I have no idea what this is going to be like. Um, the last seltzer I had was a Truly. I was not a big fan. Uh, okay, so I've cracked the can. I'm not getting anything right off of the opening. I am using the trusty Guinness glass here because it's the best one for seeing stuff. And okay, uh, it pours clear, so at least no artificial color in this at all. Um, there's not a hint of anything. This is as clear as you can get. Um, I'm getting a citrus, a sweet citrus smell to it. Um, and it's not that pleasant a citrus smell. I want to say almost like a, a chewable vitamin type of smell. Uh, there is some raspberry there, I think, although, you know, it's funny in the ingredients, um, I did not see anything about raspberry. So this is supposed to be raspberry tangerine. I'm getting like a random citrus flavor. It's very chemical, the smell of it. Um, there is some raspberry note to it, although I guess that's under the heading of natural flavors. So, and I am sort of impressed at how clear it is. Uh, you know, the only way to know is to give it a taste. Let's see what it's like. You know, okay, so I'm not getting any raspberry at all. No, I'm getting sort of an artificial citrus flavor here. Um, Almost like one of those, back when I was ki a kid, they had St. Joseph's chewable aspirin, and they were like this uh, sort of like artificial lemon flavor, uh, not lemon, orange flavor, and that's what I'm getting here. Uh, it brings back memories of sort of like a chalky um, type of aspirin flavor. Uh, so this is definitely not something I would seek out. Um, Hmm. Yeah, it just, it just is artificial and artificial and artificial. Um, this is definitely not one for me. Um, the only flavor there is sort of an artificial, uh, I'm going to describe a flavor with a color here, that bright orange sort of like chalky, uh, look to it. Um, it's very dry. It has the mouthfeel of seltzer, a lot of carbonation, but it really does not um, make you want to drink any more of it. Uh, in fact, I have three more flavors of this, and quite frankly, uh, I'm reluctant. You know what? This is going off what I plan to do today, but okay. I have another of these. Uh, this is blackberry lemonade. So let's put the uh, tangerine raspberry right here. And I'm going to get 
another glass. Again, completely wrong glass. In fact, do I have another Guinness glass to keep it even? I don't, but I do have a regular pint glass. So let's see. Uh, so this is, you know, I never do two in a row like this, um, but I guarantee you I am pouring this one into the drain because it is really not good. So this is Vizzy Blackberry Lemonade. Um, okay, so there's actually a, a color to this one. Uh, and there must have been some sort of crap on the can because I got something in there. Whoops. All right, so it's like a light pink color. Uh, very hard to pick up. I'm not even sure if the camera is going to pick it up. It's mostly clear. Um, this is overwhelmingly lemon, which is the hint of blackberry, sort of like a, a multi berry seltzer. Um, it's not a terrible nose. That nose on the other one was, was just all chemical. This is a little better. Um, only way to know is let's give it a taste. Yeah, this is equally not as appealing. Um, and this is again, a uh, hundred calories in this particular uh, one. Um, and 5% ABV. It's sweet, it's very fake. Um, in my opinion, this is not something I would wanna drink. Um, and it's something I'm not going to drink. In fact, I have one more of these flavors to try, which again, I was gonna split these up, but let's get rid of this all at once. Uh, this is watermelon strawberry. I'm gonna cut here. Cut back, because I wanted to get some water to rinse my mouth out with this. Um, all right, I'm gonna grab another glass. Uh, this time, I think I'll just go with another Cape May glass, and we're gonna try the watermelon strawberry. So, so far, two out of three have been, in my opinion, not something I would drink. Um, Oh wait, again, one second, there we go. Okay, so let's give it a try. Oh, sorry about that. So the carbonation is aggressive. Um, all I'm getting is artificial flavor uh, aroma here. It's very sweet. All right, let's see. Okay, this one you can drink. Um, what is this again? <sighs> Watermelon strawberry. Okay, this is, again, very artificial, but the, the watermelon comes through, the strawberry comes through. Again, it's, it's clear, uh, it is not, artificially flavored, so. The watermelon strawberry is the best of what I think is sort of a bad lot. Um, and you know, like I do appreciate the fact that there are very little in the way of artificial colors. This one being the most artificially colored one and it's very light. Um, you know, I hate saying something is just bad. Uh, and it may be that I am just not a hard seltzer person that I really do enjoy sort of the bitterness and the flavor that's associated with beer, which realistically, it, it, almost all the beers I try, those flavors are natural and enjoyable. Um, these are just, and I know it says natural flavors, but it also says less than 1% juice. These are really not my thing. Um, you know, they may be yours and somebody out there might be sitting there going, wow, Vizzy Seltzer is the best in the world. Um, for me, and, and this does not happen very often, normally I sit back and you know, I'll even, even a beer I don't like, I generally finish, but these I'm going to dump down the drain. Um, so, you know, if there's a hard seltzer, I, so far I've tried truly hard seltzer, I've tried busy hard seltzer. Uh, does someone have one out there that might be palatable to someone who is a, a beer drinker? Because these just, uh, again, I was planning on splitting these up into three different reviews. Um, I, I can't say, uh, wow, I don't like these 
for three different reviews. That would just be, for me, rather depressing, and I'm just not gonna do that. So I can say outright, I just do not care for the Vizzy Seltzers. That doesn't mean they're not good. Somebody out there might like them. Uh, it is just not something that hits the buttons on my particular palette. Um, but again, if anybody has any recommendations for hard seltzers, I would happily take those recommendations and try them out because right now, as far as hard seltzers go, I continue to strike out. Um, anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, uh, if you did, like, subscribe, uh, throw a comment in there. I am looking for anyone who could give me a hard seltzer that would be actually palatable. And so far, the best one I've found um, is the Vizzy Watermelon Strawberry, which it's not really a compliment because this is not something I'm going to look for. Um, in fact, it's something I, in the future I probably will intentionally not buy. Um, but that's, uh, that's Vizzy Seltzer, uh, in my opinion. So uh, I'd love to hear anybody else's opinion. If you've tried this, maybe I'm missing the right flavor from this company, uh, please let me know. Otherwise, folks, um, Normally I'd say I'm gonna sit back and enjoy these, but I'm gonna sit back and dump these down the drain and probably have a regular beer. Uh, anyway, see you later, and uh, hopefully see you next time. Bye.